Ezra and Nehemiah. Ezra and Nehemiah, as you know, is where the Israelites, after Cyrus came and destroyed Babylon, he then let the Israelites return home and rebuild their cities, rebuild their temples, and also rebuild their armies. And there have been many people that have disputed that. Historians say, that just doesn't make sense. That someone to destroy people, let them return. That more likely did not happen. That may be sound illogical, and they may want to complain all they want, but then they're going to have to answer to that cylinder right there, <laughs> called the Cyrus Cylinder. Because the Cyrus Cylinder is Cyrus and says very much that same thing. It's got it right there in cuneiform. Whether they don't like it, whether they want to dispute that this may have happened, they're going to have to confront their own material. That's why it's so good that you have a cylinder like that, proving that Cyrus was very advanced for his age. There's no other king that did what he did, proving how confident he was as a king. He did allow the people that he conquered to return home. He did allow them to rebuild their cities, to rebuild their temples, and more specifically, to build, rebuild their armies. He was that confident, way ahead of his time, though it may sound illogical to the historians, they're going to have to argue with their own artifacts. That's why I love it, because it just corroborates what we already know.